I thought I'd just come up just before my consultation session begins just to give you a very quick review on salicylic acid. Hi everyone, I hope you're all well. I've been having like a couple of clients actually coming and asking me about the usage of salicylic acid, so which you may or may not know, it's the BHA, so beta hydroxy acid. Salicylic acid is an anti-inflammatory and oil soluble, which means that it can easily penetrate pores in order to unclog them. And how it does this, it does this by loosening and detaching the dead skin cells and other kind of debris that build up in and around the pore. Because of this ability, obviously it's great because it has the ability to dissolve, dissolve oil. Salicylic acid is also very good, yes, to reduce the oil, but it is a very good anti acne ingredient as well. So this is the reason why I really wanted to talk to you about because automatically, because BHA is classified with kind of an oil reducing kind of structure and benefits, we automatically think that as dry skins, we can't use it. And this is like kind of the myth, or not like, or not a myth, but like the belief that we kind of have. So because salicylic acid is only used for oil control, it can only be used in concentrations and also in formulations that is really suited for that type of skin. Um, whereas it's not the case, as a cosmetic formulator, I use salicylic acid um, in many different forms because it has great anti-inflammatory properties which essentially is very great in order to help with the acne it's kind of it, it, it together paired with other different ingredients it can help actually to be an antibacterial tool which essentially will help with acne clearing so I for example have dry skin and I don't have oily skin my cheeks are very dry However, I still like using salicylic acid in the form of a cream uh, and not so much of a gel. So the learning lesson is that if you do have acne prone skin, which is more towards the dry and dehydrated side, you would benefit by using salicylic acid in formulations such as cream cleansers. So there are actually cream cleansers that does contain salicylic acid around 1.5 to 2% salicylic acid. There are cream cleansers like that or you can potentially find salicylic acid in, um, in creams that is paired with ceramides, peptides, sodium hyaluronate. So the reason of salicylic acid being in there would be basically for the acne control, not so much for the oil control, because essentially you are pairing salicylic acid with other ingredients that will help nourish and hydrate the skin and not strip away the oil, the natural oils that you have on your skin and that's very important if you have dry dehydrated skin the worst thing that you want to do is to use ingredients such as like benzoyl peroxide or salicylic acid which is basically ingredients for acne control but use it in concentrations or formulations you don't want to use it in concentrations and in formulations that is designed to strip away the oil you want to make sure that you are including these ingredients into formulations and consistencies that are actually help nourishing and help hydrate and help repair. So essentially, you are kind of giving your skin what it needs. So when you have dry, dehydrated, acne prone skin, your skin needs repair, it needs hydration, it needs acne control, yes, and that's why the salicylic acid is, is included into that routine. So don't be afraid of using salicylic acid, just avoid salicylic acid concentrations and formulations that are mostly in oil stripping formats so that would be like gel cleansers gel creams um, kind of like paired with other ingredients such as witch hazel menthol or there's an other alternative as well this is why like skin consultation is very important because like I can give you personal advice depending on your skin type so there's also another way that you can use salicylic acid and this is like how I use it when I was using the salicylic acid in Obagi so the Cleansiderm has salicylic acid, it's a gel cleanser and it's also, they have an exfoliating toner which contains 2% salicylic acid. So obviously because my skin is very dry and more on the dehydrated side, after using those two specific products especially, um, I had extreme dryness. So I did also use obviously benzoyl peroxide, so I did actually see some peeling the first couple of weeks, which is normal to a degree. Um, so. 
What you can do if you are using Obaju Cleansing Derm products, for example, or if you are using other formulations that are in the gel consistency, but you still have dry, acne-prone skin, what you can do is you make sure that your final steps, so such as your moisturizer, is packed with repair agents. So it's packed with humectants, such as sodium hyaluronate, honey, uh, propolis, um, um, ceramides, peptides, vitamin E, at low concentration, not very high concentration. So you are essentially really helping to repair the skin as well as you are using salicylic acid in the form of you are targeting your acne control. So you can do it that way as well. So as a summary, there's two ways that you can include salicylic acid into your routine if you have acne prone skin, but you're more on the drier side. So one, is that you use formulations that include salicylic acid in a cream based format so that would be a cream cleanser that includes salicylic acid or it will be a cream that includes salicylic acid so that's one way or the second way is that what you can do is you can use salicylic acid based gel cleansers or salicylic acid based exfoliating toners but then you make sure that your next step so such as your serum or your moisturization is packed with repair agents to help you nourish so essentially you don't uh, you don't it doesn't overly strip your skin so essentially what you are doing is you are giving back the nutrition and you are giving back the vitamins and all the hydration back to your skin after the salicylic acid based cleanser and toner so those are my little top tips so hopefully you found it useful if you have any other queries please do not hesitate to contact me and also if you did find this video useful please share it with your friends so they can also gain the benefits of skin education <laughs> bye guys have a lovely day